60 years ago this month, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his iconic I Have a Dream speech to a crowd of 250,000 at the March on Washington for jobs and freedom. Of course, he also gave an early form of that speech in June at the 1963 Detroit Walk to Freedom. Motown founder Barry Gordy decided to promote Dr. King's cause by recording both versions along with some of his other famous speeches. American Black Journal contributor Cecilia Sharp of 90.9 WRCJ sat down with the chairwoman and CEO of the Motown Museum, Robin Terry, to talk about Motown's legacy during the civil rights movement. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to talk with me. Well, thank you for having me and for being patient and getting this con making this conversation happen. So Barry Gordy organically embodied social justice and equality and equal rights and sometimes faced a little bit of flack for that inclusivity during such a tumultuous time. How did he naturally achieve those goals of the civil rights movement of social justice and equality for everyone through Motown records? I don't know that he ever set out to achieve a goal of civil rights. I think what he did so brilliantly was to, one, establish a business and an enterprise where he could empower other people, not just black people, but mostly people of color. I think what he definitely did was he was able to create a music with the intention of creating music for all people. So at no point was Barry Gordy trying to just make black music for black people. He was trying to make music for all people. Things like love and joy and hope and peace, things that everybody could relate to, that resonated. He didn't realize it was gonna resonate because it was being made by young people with young people all around the world and become the sound of young America. And in doing so, started to create this unity this coming together of people who looked very different, had different backgrounds. And my favorite quote is when Junius Griffin says, you know, Motown music allowed black and white people to look at each other and say, there's a little bit of you and me, and there's a little bit of me and you. And the power of that, that's what helped advance the civil rights movement. And of course, in 1963, we know that Barry Gordy Motown Records recorded the yes. first version of the I Have a Dream speech in Detroit in 1963 of June, and then later he recorded the speech in August 1963, the March, the Great March on Washington. Yes. What impact has that, those recordings, have those recordings had on us today? Well, I mean, those recordings are the reason we have access today, and that's what makes it so powerful. Uh, Motown as an independent record label at the time was in a position to document those speeches. And then later, Barry Gordy would give the rights to those speeches to the King family. So I think it was a really, um, it was a foresight that Barry Gordy had that this was important to put in the right hand so that the world can have it, you know, in perpetuity. I think that's one of Motown's biggest shining moments. You have created a lot more shining moments here at Motown as the CEO and chairwoman of the Motown Museum and just expanded the museum and reached out into the community with a lot of programs, many summer camps uh, for children, as well as another program with poetry and uh, writing. Talk a little bit about that program and also how you partnered with the Motown record label. So um, you're absolutely right. So we're in the midst of a um, expansion to build a world-class campus that really pays tribute to Motown's legacy. Um, and not only in a nostalgic way, but also in a way that allows those that are inspired by this story to activate that inspiration, to be a part of a community of up and coming singers and songwriters and musicians and entrepreneurs. And so we've created a whole space called Hitsville Next that's just devoted to that community. Out of that also comes you know, a commitment to giving artists a place and a platform to shine. 
And one of the programs we created um, is for poets, it's for orators of today. And that is a nod to Motown's Black Forum label. When you talk about Dr. King's speeches, the Great March on Washington, those speeches were recorded on the Gordy label, but they inspired what became the Black Forum label. So Motown Mike, which is a nod to Motown's Black Forum label, is a spoken word poetry competition. So there's so much going on here at the Motown Museum. How can people get involved? Can they take a class? Can they oh. sign up for Motown Mike? Can they take a tour? Can they take a hustle class? I love that you ask all those questions because they can do all those things. I mean, there's we have free activations on our new Rocket Plaza every Saturday in the summer. So come um, hang out with us. It's all free. We dance. You can take classes. Um, there are marketplaces with you know up and coming entrepreneurs that we support. But you can do that. You can also sign up for classes on our website. So if you go to MotownMuseum.org, look under programs. And under programs are all of the offerings that we have, not only for middle school, high school kids, adults, ways that you can plug into this creative you know, community if you're that, you know, aspiring artist or entrepreneur. And then you can always donate or at a minimum become a member. Be a part of this journey with us. And membership's $45. So there's something for everyone. Come to the Motown Museum and support. Thank you so much for your time talking about the history of Motown and Barry Gordy's vision. I really appreciate you spending time with me here today and I look forward to visiting the Motown Museum. Thank you. Thank you for having me.